The Bertie County Sheriff's Office is investigating a shooting that happened Saturday night at a Dollar General that left a 60 year old man dead. Gigi Barnett spoke with residents living near the store about how this act of violence makes them feel. Gigi. Yeah, Alyssa, deputies found 60 year old William Thomas Johnson of Plymouth sh suffering from multiple gunshot wounds when they got to the scene around 930 Saturday night. The Bertie County Sheriff's Office is investigating a shooting that happened Saturday night near the side of a Dollar General store in Mary Hill. Deputies found 60 year old William Thomas Johnson of Plymouth lying near a car with multiple gunshot wounds. He was pronounced dead shortly after authorities got there. Residents who live nearby say they heard the gunshots and find the shooting hitting too close to home. Then I woke up to use the restroom and saw the whole lights over here and all the commotion. And um, I find out that somebody got killed. And uh, that's it. I mean, you know, this uh, gun violence just won't go away by itself. Investigators say the suspect fled on foot and got into a car near the scene. North Carolina Highway Patrol, the Down East Drug and Violent Crime Task Force, and the Ahoski Police were called in Saturday night to help find the suspect. K-9 units and a drone were also used to assist with search efforts. Some residents are shocked to hear this happened, especially in a community with a lot of families with children. I think what bothers me the most is this store is visited by a lot of families, a lot of children, a lot of people in route to the beach, and, and it, it bothers me a lot to know that something happened. According to the sheriff's office, the suspect was described to them as a black male wearing a blue hoodie and black pants. The investigation is currently in its early stages and no arrests have been made. All right, thanks, Gigi. And the North Carolina State Bureau of Investigation also has been called in to help with the investigation. The Bertie County Sheriff's Office urges anyone who may have information related to the shooting to contact their investigations division. Their phone number can be found on our website, WITN.com.